Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. All right, the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE has finally launched here in the United States. All right, here I'm using the uh, A54 5G, which gives you an idea of what the uh, S23 Fan Edition is going to look like. Um, so I want to talk about it. Now, let me go ahead and um, go to the Samsung website here. So this is Samsung.com, and I'm going to show you guys uh, the uh, S23 FE and uh, what Samsung is offering here. So here we go. And uh, one thing I noticed is, all right, let's go ahead and down here so we can find it. All right, first off, they didn't put it on the front page, which is really, really weird. You would think that they would put it on the front page, but they didn't because they're for some reason, they're really not trying to advertise this phone. And... Um, To go down here and you can't really find it until you scroll all the way down and um that's 21 fe so it's really even hard to find that phone so here we go that's 22 s 23 ultra literally have to um, type it here let's go s 23 fe so for some reason samsung's not really crazy about this device themselves <laughs> all right and um there we go, S23 Fan Edition. All right, starting at $599. Let's go ahead and click Buy Now. And um, show you what they're offering here. So here are the colors. I believe they have four colors only. Um, like a mint green, black, a white, and kind of a purple color. And let's see here, we're going to go Unlocked, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, pick a storage. So 128 is going for $629.99, which is <laughs> absolutely ridiculous, considering this is a two-year-old chip that they're using in this phone. So basically, you're two years behind here to pay $629.99 for a two-year-old chip. Let's go ahead and uh, start a trade-in. All right, so I'm going to trade in my uh, S23, F, my S21 FE, just to see what they would give me here. And um, here we go. Let's go. Search a device. S21 FE. Usually it'll just pop up. Here we go. And they'd give me $250 for my S21 FE. So I agree. And I would end up paying $379.99 plus tax if I wanted to buy the S23 FE. So it would come out to over $400. Is it worth the upgrade if you have an S21 FE uh, to get a trade in your phone for $250 and pay $400 for the, uh, for the uh, S23 FE? Absolutely not. Uh, first off, you can get a renewed S23 regular vanilla for about the same price which is a better phone better device with a newer chip um, I have no idea what Samsung was thinking here um, like I said the key for me was gonna be the pricing how much Samsung was gonna offer on the trade and at 250 um, that they're not gonna get my business not, not right now. now I would think that the best thing to do is probably wait and Samsung does drop their prices uh, pretty rapidly uh, if they see that their sales aren't <laughs> what they should be, uh, they'll drop the price. This phone, this S23 uh, FE, should literally be no more than $499. Um, because now we're going into 2024 with the uh, brand new processor coming out, which is the uh, 8 Gen 3. And uh, they want you to spend over $600 on a processor that is two years old. And it's going to be three years old. Um, in a couple months so with that said guys um, I really hope that this video helps um, if you have an S21 FE there's absolutely no reason to upgrade uh, if it's working fine um, you're still gonna get a couple more years of operating system updates um, but like I said for now um, I'm not buying this phone uh, unless they you know drop the price and increase the trade-in value so hope that helps guys 
Uh, until next time, uh, don't forget to subscribe down below, hit like, and talk to you soon.